violent night in the city of Durham as police respond to several shootings. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. Five people have been shot. Two of them died. CBS 17's Gilat Malamud is live for us in Durham. And Gilat, what can you tell us about each of these shootings? I want to show you just how close the two fatal shootings are to each other. Police are investigating the first one over here. And then just right across the street, you can see the second fatal shooting at the Wellens Village Shopping Center. Durham police say three people were shot here around 5 p.m. Police say one man was killed after being taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. They say another man and a juvenile were also shot here. They were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Shortly before that, Durham police say another man was shot and killed. Police say they arrived to Holloway and Bry Street just after 4.50 p.m. and found the man dead on the sidewalk. About half an hour before that, Durham police responded to another shooting on Fargo Street. Police say a man was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police blocked off the townhome complex's parking lot where we counted about a dozen evidence markers. Officers say they detained a juvenile suspect. Police are still investigating all three of these shootings, and they say right now they don't know if any of them are connected to each other. Live in Durham, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilat, thank you.